Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> we were chatting hey, a little bit. Hi, Andy. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I think that um, Jackie is, let, you know, like that, that uh, Georgia heat got to her a little bit. So I don't think she'll be joining us tonight. Right. Yeah. It's just a headache or something. Oh, it's been a long day for me today because QVC was giving, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys, like, I, I love QVC and they were like totally didn't know what they were doing and they hosted a giveaway since midnight. And um, they were giving away like, KitchenAid mixers and all kinds of stuff. They had a hundred things. And um, when they gave away the KitchenAid mixer, only 30 people were watching and playing for it. And it was the 27th person. And I said, well, hello, just sit here until the end because right. there's only 30 of us. <laughs> there's a strategy to this. And then, um, <clears throat> pardon me. And I and then a Deb I was manifesting in a Deborah one. I'm like, <laughs> and then it was... Oh. Hi, hi, Wendy and Breeze here, but it wasn't this Deborah. Um, so, and then I missed the finale. They really didn't quite know what they were doing, but it was nice that they gave a lot of stuff away. Hey, hi, hi, hi you guys. So, um, so anyway, um, oh gosh, just a long day. I didn't get any of my readings done and I have a lot of them to do, but I will do them later. How are you doing? Are you getting a lot of readings? I am. And I have to thank um, the client, um, a potential client that is watching, uh, perhaps maybe, has sent me a few referrals. So that was pretty awesome. Um, oh, great. And I, I've gotten validation on, on most of it. And it's just amazing, um, you know, Thank you, God, like you say as well. It's it's just uh, beautiful to be able to do this for people. And and then when it comes back, even months later, um, they the client validates it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I especially, love that. Especially that we are, um, um, I believe somebody taught you the timing on the tarot. And <laughs> oh, right there, right there. Right. It really works. It really does oh. work. I don't, straight ahead. It's me. Yeah, I don't well, know where I am on there. Um, oh, yeah. I really could point work. at the camera, huh? Yeah, yeah, you could. And you just did. Um, it's really <laughs> great because we can look into the future and we can literally go to the end of, uh, of time when we look at stuff. Um, I had to do a reading for 50 years in the future for right. uh, NARP. And so I did, and it was very interesting what came out. But, um, you know, I literally can go through someone's life lifetime and tell them, but I don't think that they should always know that. Uh, right. But we can do that. And so it's really great when they come back and say, I, I have them validate. I have people keep my readings, and they've had readings for five years from me, and then come back and say, you know, they – they listened to them yearly and then all together and they were right on. And so oh, wow. I, I know it's just like crazy. You know, when you tell somebody next year in April, like mid April, this is what's going to happen. Like I told that one guy, you're going to find the love of your life. You're going to fall in love for the first time. And, you know, that was months, like 10 months later. And he's telling me, yeah, that happened. And um, in that time period. So it's, it's pretty amazing how it all works. Um, so I know um, that you're just doing really good with your readings. And I'm so proud of you. And, um, you. and you know, I know your goal is to uh, have a full-time um, career. And it's coming. Um, I am broadcasting downstairs. Uh, instead of my office because it's cooler down here and this is where I decided my workroom was going to be so I've got you can't see but I've got jars and jars of the ball jars of uh, spices oh, yeah. and charms you can't see them that's not it but <laughs> Debbie I love, <laughs> I love that that giant uh, grandfather clock behind you 
Well, you probably would like the four other ones in my house. Oh, you have four more like that? We, we keep, we have grand, I have my grandmother, and then we have another grandmother, and then we have grandfather. There's different kinds. And um, they're just, there's one right here, and there's one right there. We have them all over the house and upstairs. But we have probably 200 clocks um, up, up there. We have 1800s kitchen clocks, and they're my oh, favorite. Wow. And we have them over there. <laughs> we have them everywhere. And do you um, do you have cuckoo cuckoo clocks too? Yes. Yeah. You do we we I would I have to draw the line of hearing cuckoo clocks, and we have only had kind of small ones until Neil came home from uh, uh, an estate sale with a giant one and it will go off every half hour and the angels come out and they dance and everything sings and on and on and on. But it's, everybody likes it and we don't even hear it anymore, you know, but um, I really want him to have the clocks going a little bit more okay. now. But Debbie, there's way I don't know too if many. you can hear me, but. Sure. I can hear you, you're frozen. Can you hear me? Oh my goodness. Can somebody comment? Are you seeing um, and hearing Andy or are you see seeing and hearing me? So let me go ahead and chat. I think Andy went out. Can, can you hear me is what I'm writing. And let, let me know. Somebody put a, post a comment. I really do like Be Live TV, but there's a lot of drawbacks here. And one of it is, you know, um, not getting the comments when we need them. Okay, okay. here's Andy. Andy's back. back. Hi, now I can hear you. Oh, okay. So I didn't know if you, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hear you or see you. And then it said the site was down. So I'm wondering if there was a blip on Be Live. Yeah, um, probably. You know what? It's okay. We blip all the time anyway. Yeah. There. I asked if they, the comments, if they could see us. So good. Oh, good. Um, anyway, yeah, I've got lots of antiques behind me and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, we love our clocks and we love our antiques. And, you know, people come in our house and they, you know, I would say 99.99% .99 everybody just Oh my goodness! And they love the antiques and the clocks are everywhere. Probably a couple Me hundred too. of them. I, and I love um, them. yeah, I, you know what? There's one one room that is my favorite, and it's the one that really is the workshop for the clocks. And it's got you know hundreds of uh, uh, pocket watches hanging, and and the glass anniversary clocks, and chapel clocks, mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff. So it's really fun. And uh, remember, you guys, when you bring things home from thrift stores and things like that, to always clear it is if you get some bad vibes. But I want to show you what I've got. Now, the camera is pretty far away from me, but let's see if I can show this. This was really an interesting find. Mm -hmm. It is a shell spoon. It's a shell. And somebody oh. carved it out. And then they took like a mother of pearl. And they made the scoop. And there's some old brass tacks there. So when I do my when I do all my stuff, it's kind of fun to um, to go ahead and um, use natural implements and stuff. You know, um, you want to always put everything in an abalone shell or you want to put it in terracotta clay or, or glass. So anyway, now I've got this really special thing. They loved it at the Goodwill. And they said, where did you get that? And it was like $3.99. And they go, well, I got to show it to somebody. And I'm like, ah, I'm going out the door. It's mine. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. You're like, yeah, um, I'll be back with your, <laughs> your, sh your spoon there. Yeah. Yeah, I bought it. It's paid for. Um, so we, I had a lot of fun doing the spell uh, show Wednesday, and I hope everybody put stuff out in the moonlight. Um, but I wanted to show one more book of Scott Cunningham's, and this one is uh, the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Let's see if I could put that up there. 
I don't have an affiliate um, link for it, but I'll put one up at some point because the thing is, you guys, you probably don't ever need this. It's really a field guide to identifying. There's like a sketch, like a sketch in here. And, and then it'll, let's see if you can see it. There'll be a sketch of it and then it'll tell you if it's poison or not. It'll tell you the properties of it and things like that. But honestly, if you use the incense oil and brews, they're going to, if you look up the plant, you know what the plant is, it's going to tell you there. But I wanted to show you, I do use this once in a while when I am making up recipes. Um, hey, my Comic-Con stuff came in. Did it? Ah, so excited. The This young kid went it from the Valley, which was El Centro, California. He came into Comic-Con and you know, they always sell their stuff right away. And if you wait, it's pretty inexpensive. One of the backpacks sold for $5 and eight cents the other day. And oh, it, wow. you know, they'll, yeah, they'll throw shipping in or maybe it'll charge shipping. Uh, but um, this guy knew what he was doing. He took cardboard and he took the, the wrap and he sent me the quick guide to Comic Con, which is fun oh, to look at. Oh, cool. yeah. Well, let's see. And then, so um, it just shows the um, the convention center and stuff. And then he wrapped and has the backing for the guy, the the event guide. And oh, this is a wow. collectible. Yeah, this is a collectible. So he threw that in. So that was kind of neat. He's got it all nice and, you know, uh, hopefully this is one of the acid proof things. But I mean, he packed it so good. And then he threw in the souvenir book. Look at this. Oh, awesome. That was something else. So um, he wrapped that nice. So we got that. And um, then I got this, the <laughs> backpack. Woohoo! Oh, wow. And that's too, here's the DC side. So, but there's something special this year on the backpacks. And it's right here. The backpacks came with special pins. Oh. Oh. Um, and for different uh, uh, superheroes, and I wanted Aquaman, and I'm so they just snap out. It snaps. They have a snap whole thing. Now, when they started selling them, some of them they sell with it, and some they sell separately. So they're selling for like seven ninety nine. But here it is. Got oh, the pin. Wow. So Aquaman. And so that's neat. So I'm going to put it back in there because I'm giving all of this stuff to my son who didn't get to go to Comic Con. And I do this every year if we don't get tickets. So anyway, and it has straps. And everybody gets one free with your admission to Comic Con. Oh. It's a big backpack. Yeah, big backpack. And they're all different every year. So we have them for every year. And I thought that was really cool. And if you guys get one on eBay and they send it folded, you can iron it with a pressing cloth on low and take any of the wrinkles oh. out. Okay. And then I put them up with clips on a hanger in a closet. So anyway, I'm excited to get my um, my Comic-Con junk. That was fun. Nice. And we're going to... Oh, we're going to do some uh, reading, so go ahead and post uh, your questions, too. Um, definitely. Did I lose Andy again? Well, I'm here, oh, but my, my camera is just, it's on. <laughs> it's on, but it's not. Well, I think you're clearer than you were before. Now you're gone again. Oh, it, Wendy, it's bingo time. <laughs> yeah, bingo. Oh my goodness. I'll be doing the the readings myself tonight and the whole show. So this will be a lot of fun. No, he'll be back. We know he'll be back. Um there hey. he is. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you it's a weird That story. was just so bizarre. It just went bam off and it's on. So 
and I didn't do anything different. I swear. Well, you guys some, know. Something's you messing know. with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the entities are always doing something. And, um, you know, uh, and sometimes they're super helpful because I got a call from somebody today who said that she really wanted a message from the other side. And she um, saw something, um, something happen about her keys. And she goes, gosh, I really, that was weird. Okay. And then she went somewhere and somebody mentioned a key. And she was like, okay, that's fine. And then something else happened and it was keys. And then somebody came on the radio or something and said keys. And she's going, okay, there's a message about keys. So um, I said, yeah, you have to listen, you guys, and we have to watch for things. And somebody was messaging me earlier about all of this um, on Meetup. Um, she gets signs, too. And I said, well, I get them in closed captioning. And she was talking about practically the same type of thing of her communication with the angels. So um, always look out for those signs. But they're literal, they're e and they can be easy. You know how people will go and um, create a weave, a big story around seeing a, bra a black crow or something, you know, da, 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 da. and I've got, you know, yeah, and go on and on and on. Yeah. It's, it's a lot easier than that, guys. It's actually seeing a billboard or the time that I was led out of where I didn't know where I was by the street signs. And it's as easy as just opening your eyes and listening and you'll get the clues. It's, it's amazing. Um, and a lot of times there'll be mediums or psychics that, you know, they come up to you and they say, I'm drawn to tell you this, give you a message. So that happened to you the other day. And, yeah. um, oh, guess what? I did get us a guest for next month. Shannon, yeah. Did, yeah. did you see I put up the ad? Did you guys see the ad for Shannon? Shannon, it works with the angels, and she will answer all your angel questions. She also can give messages, and um, she's a spiritual advisor, and she does the whole nine yards. And so she's going to come on our show, and she's um, going to go be on a Friday show so that she can give you guys messages from the other side. I am excited and I want a message from the other side. No, I mean, it's fun to have them, um, you know, give you messages from other people. I never ask anyone because yeah. I, I manifest so much that I just feel like, um, you know, I am customizing my life in what mm -hmm. I want to come in. And, but I was on QVC and there was Alex and Annie and Alex and Annie or something like that. And they have a jewelry line on QVC. And um, I'm, I'm watching because I want to win something, right? And right. they go, tell uh, they were talking about their jewelry and the lady was saying like, we have gone to Tibet and here and there, and we have gotten the sacred ge geometric symbols. And we want to make sure that the Buddha's hands in the right place. She was totally in, sincerely into making sure that this was spiritual jewelry. And so she goes, hey, tell us a little bit about you, and then we'll match you up with the right symbol. So I said, do you love those bracelets? Well, I wrote right, right away. I teach, and I do readings, and I'm a healer. What symbol do I need? And... Um, she uh, went ahead and goes, she started talking, then she goes, forgive me, I'm going to tune in to your energy. And I was like, yes, <laughs> I was touching, touching the screen and everything. Get it, get it, get it. And she did tell me I am breath of life is what I needed. And so I went, of course, I looked on QVC and it was all the bracelets that Brie was talking about. And I don't know if I want a bracelet. I, you know, I won't you know, hi, Pam, I won't wear it. So I went on to her site and Carlos is in the house. Um, <laughs> he's our norm. And so I went over to their site and for $28, they had a sterling 
silver spoon ring with the Breath of Life sculpture on it. Free what shipping. Is that? What is what is Breath of Life? I have it on the uh, Psychic Fixes fan page. I put a picture of it. So huh. I bought it. And I go, okay, I getting back to what I was talking about, I feel like that was a sign that this lady on QVC gets my message of everybody. It's the first one, my message, answers it, tunes into my energy, and tells me I need this. They told me how to breathe. You breathe. She said, you need extra, you need to, to keep up the energy and the love for the healing. And she's so right. I go all day long and I this and I love it. I love to be busy and work and do stuff all day long. And it takes a lot of energy when you're doing four, five, six, seven readings a day mm -hmm. and a live show and all of this and mixing up my nice potions and brews. So um I I was it was spot on what she said. And she says, so you breathe in all the great energy, and she says, and you blow out all the toxins. And she mm -hmm. said, but you need the breath of life. So I can't wait to get it and wear it. And uh that's gonna be really cool. You like Carlos likes the grandfather clock, and I was oh, uh, I have at least four more. And let me tell you the story about the big red cherry wood red one that was over there in the corner it was really extra big and um my hubby decided that he was going to sell it because we at that time it was like six and i'm like we we live hi guys uh, i'm pet sitting the dog just came back from a while oh. so anyway we took it out hi champy we took it out and put it into the garage oh i know you're barking and um <laughs> That's I know, I know. So anyway, we took it out and we um, we set it there. We're going to get it a good home. And it went boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> so that was one down. But we have gotten another one. So um, hey, can you call him? Yeah, He's yeah. trying to get into the <laughs> That's fine. So cute. Yeah, he was really cute when he came over in a convertible and then ran into the house and barfed all over my carpet. <laughs> oh. So just adorable. <laughs> so anyway, he they went to the park, so it'd be a little quiet for a while. Um, anyway, so um, yes, we have lots of clocks, <laughs> oh. uh, tons of them, and um, you know, just it, you know. Neil's is all the old antiques. Mine are binary clocks. Do you know what that is? I love my binary clock. The like, well, ones and zeros? I don't know. Well, it's rows of lights. You have to set and count, oh. and then you know what time it is. And um, like I have one that's a shaped of a, of a coffee pot and things like that. So mm. those are my type of interesting clocks. And But I did buy a grandmother clock that I absolutely fell in love with and but they're everywhere and what i was saying is we literally live in a house of glass and yeah. um, it's from the night like 1974 and we have walls our walls and we have very little um wall space i happen to have wall space here thank goodness but it's just open and i love it because and then they put the mirrors in so there's a mirror there and there's mirror oh. in the other room and so it's reflecting, but we can't really hang anything on anywhere except every place. And we have a two story, so it's real tall up there. I could see way up there. Um, so we have um, clocks all over up there. Oh, yes. I'll tell Champy that you said hi. He's uh, he's just an adorable and we love to pet set for, for him. And I usually don't on show nights. But... but it is what it is. We are so real. I was talking to Andy the other day. So Andy, remember? Um, yeah. I'm so happy that we are just ourselves. Right. And we do what the heck we want to do. And one of the things we do is we love using our glamour shots. Yeah. <laughs> our our photos have been glammed up. 
<laughs> we don't care. We just tell you that. And we, we are true to who we are. And we have gifts from God. And, you know, we're honest and we're going to be here telling it what it is and having discussion with our viewers and, and helping people. You know, it's just part of our lives forever. But I love that we who this is we're not, you know, I have a friend who has a beautiful studio in her home and that would be lovely. I'm broadcasting from my dining room and that's real and that's OK. And um, I don't care. <laughs> and so we are just being true to ourselves. And I like that part of us. And and I love all of our um, things that we get to talk about the angels and um, ghosts and all of that. And we have a lunar eclipse. So we had one today. Um, yeah. What was that? Um, the height of it was at four something um, my time. So I don't know where it was your time, but a few hours ago. And um, did you, you did put your stuff out for the full moon? No. Um, I know I have some in the window in the window sill. Okay, that's okay. And I have sage. I actually put my sage up in the window as well. Um, <laughs> after I've dried it and stuff, it's, yeah. I don't know if that matters. It just happened to be where it needs, it sees the light, so. Well, I'll tell you guys that up to three days after the full moon, you can put your stuff out. It's okay. And we're going to see Mars tonight. So this is one thing I want to see. Oh, Carlos, thank you so much. Thanks, Carlos. We just love our viewers. Um, but we do want to do some readings. Um, right now, we have a sponsor break. And please, you know, if you just want us to say, hey, what's happening this week in my life? Or, you know, I'll look at three months. Or, you know, I want to look at money or something like that. Just go ahead and write it. And we will look it up. And... I have my cards right here. They've been here yeah. for me to do readings all day, but I have been on QVC. <laughs> <laughs> I have yet I end up buying jewelry. What? Uh. Right. Oh, you guys, look at my my pen. Can I show you my oh, pen? Oh yeah, I got it. You see this? Okay. So you guys know the is it Reddit the Reddit gift exchange? Yeah. Okay, this is a tactical pen. So. I didn't get, um, I signed up for one and I sent somebody a terrific gift and then um, I um, didn't get one. So I got in in a re-thing where the nice people come and they make sure that they give gifts to people that didn't get one. And they look a little bit and I say, you know, I go out to cemeteries and I'm a, I'm a psychic and I talk to the dead people and all that. And the guy gave me a hard shell notebook um, so I could take it out. It's a field notebook and a tactical pin in case I need it. It's a weapon, you guys. This will wow. break the glass in the window. I have hit myself so many times with this, so I stopped <laughs> using it. I'm like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it is a weapon, but to me. So anyway, he wanted me to have this in case I had any problems with any ghosts. I had this. He gave me several fun things. And... Um, but this was really neat to get. And at Halloween, October, I'm going to do another. I'll do the Reddit gift exchange. It's really great. Like, I don't get, I don't tend to get gifts. Yeah. And, you know, I'm always, like, buying for everybody and this, that, and the other. But I don't tend to get stuff. And I go, it just be really nice to get a, something. I love getting stuff in the mail. I'm just, like, crazy. I don't, oh, my God, it's yeah. Christmas. I know. I I'm, I'm coupon. For exactly free money. the same way. <laughs> yeah. So it's fun to sign up and to uh, play along when, when they have one that you want to do. The Secret Santa. I love the Secret Santa. So I'll do that again. But um, it was fun getting all the ghosts. Oh, he he sent me he sent me a um, recorder to sit out oh. to record the E, e uh, what is it? Voice? The e EVP. Right. <laughs> I go, yeah. What's Electronic the voice phenomenon, voice. I think. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Something so like he that. said that to me. I so I don't know where I put it, but yeah, he sent that to me. So I'll get to play with that. Um, 
so anyway, was there any, let's do the sponsor thing. And then, um, I got, I got my cards out. Okay. I want to do some reading. Um, uh, Debbie, I will go ahead and here's a question from, um, Pam, but I'll, pu I'll put it up, but no, I got to do the sponsor first. Sorry. I was thinking maybe I'd have you connect to her, but I need to put the sponsor on the screen. So our sponsor tonight, we want to thank Kimberly Boshu and her store on Etsy is called the Checkered Lily Apothecary. And she has handcrafted cosmetics, bath, um, body care. And she has these amazing uh, eyeshadows. Um, I know you've ordered from her, haven't you, Debbie? Oh, I've got her makeup. And um, she just did a mermaid line. And I asked her if I could buy gift certificates to give away next month. And she said yes. And so oh, they'll be five, they're going to be $5 off $5. And so uh, we'll be giving those away next time. And I just love her stuff. She does a uh, lip balm. And she does the most beautiful um, eyeshadows. And she loves the glitter. So she does that. And she has everything, bath bombs, all kinds of things. Because I want to make sure that if I give this away, does she have stuff that they could buy? And she said, oh, yes, we have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was scrolling through it. And I see, you know, just glancing, it kind of looks like a cigar. Because it's really uh, decorative with a nice seal on this uh, metallic lip gloss. So there's, I mean, the photographs are amazing. Um, oh, there's yeah. even facial soaps and all sorts of stuff. Um, even a clearance item, uh, you can call it full sized for six ninety nine. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Her stuff is amazing. She makes sure that it's you know perfect and safe and beautiful and she's an artist so she can mix the colors because she mixes the colors up and she just makes the most beautiful things and and she's coming to be uh going to be a big company guys mm -hmm. and it's amazing she was on buzzfeed and i'm just like oh my gosh so um we're going to be giving off five off of five next month but today will be taco bell we're going to have tacos. Right. So and nobody wants the gift card. I get it because, no. <laughs> I think I'm going to, I think when we're done, I'm going to go to Taco Bell, just chill a little bit and get my get my soft taco or something and buy the gift card. <laughs> That's so funny you said that because you know what I had for breakfast? And it wasn't tacos. It, um, it's a new item. I do a lot of snacking at convenience stores they have like the coolest products out first and you know like pickle in a bag and, um, <laughs> just different stuff but i just love pickle pickle in a bag yeah like a dill pickle a giant pickle and they call it like sassy there's a sassy kind where it's spicy and it's like a female pickle on the package and you can see it see it's a see-through so you can see it but what I got was um, Taco Bell chips. They have those. They're good. They have a really, well, they have a mild one and a, a spicy one, but I can't handle spicy. Taco Bell has their own chips? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think, I'm think i pretty sure it was Taco Bell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll be giving that away in just a little bit so um do um check out uh uh kim's etsy page and look at her you know she's got this beautiful coppers and the last one i got that copper had a lot of black in it like glitter it's just, it's just fabulous fabulous so okay what is what am i looking at i'm going to turn a light on so okay so uh here's a question from pam and okay. this is, you know, I've come across this as well in in my line of work. And people are like, 
Um, so this is her question. I have a big connection to my dad, but I can never connect to my mom. Any thoughts on that? You know, and, and a lot of people experience mm -hmm. that, don't you think? Um, sometimes, a long time ago, I used to think that maybe the person has gone into a, their, another life. Maybe they went right into oh, another right. life. And because I go, even if they were busy or anything, they should come. And right. it and and they've been over there a while, they should be able to come. But you know, Pam, everything that I have read, because it just is so interesting to me all about going to the other side and people's experiences. Well, Edgar Kayser, Casey, this is what he said it was like. You're going up a shaft of light all the way up, and there's layers of mud. You got the low entities and so on, and then and things coming at you, and then it gets lighter, and then then you're getting better spirits, and you're getting right. cheered on, and you go uh, up there. And so I would think that some of the people that go up there truly don't want to come back down to cross over and try to communicate. And, yeah. um, you know, because I go, that's a lot of muck to go through to come. Right. But when, when, like they say, the veil is thinning, I think it's going to be easier to connect. Yeah. But yeah. there's, Pam, you know, we wrote the book on it. The little book of big evil. There's a lot of bad stuff out there, and I know I cross come across people that go, "It's all just angels, and there's nothing bad out there." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, you guys should hear people's stories." Right. And there's, you know, so we've got these people that are up in a great place, and they're going to have to travel down. They're going to have to travel to us, mm -hmm. and she may have gone on to another life. However, when I do a past life, I go, I tell the person about the past life, and then I talk to them in their past life, because it's supposed to kind of be going on at the same time, you know, so it really is truly a big mystery about all of this, and it can be that they don't want to travel through, or Pam, have you had a medium try to bring her in because we do spirit circles i'm going to one sunday where we we ask summon them and ask them mm -hmm. but i'm sure you've tried to get her in or have you used a medium yeah um i i believe we've um we've uh, gone to circles before and um I don't think her mom has ever come come through. My thought on it too is just like you, Debbie, is that they've, you know, are in another life, like they've reincarnated, and now, um, especially if they're um, really connected to you, you're, you know, and close to you, and you're grieving, they like to be there to support and care for you. So um, that's that's my but thought. But they're on also. That. But they're also learning and maybe going right. to classes and maybe being a guide for someone, you know, type of thing. When I've had a lot of spirits come in, um, there'll be one maybe at the back and they don't want to talk and they just look and I'm like, whatever. And I had twins come in and twin sisters and I'll, so I, I got the twin in that uh, was the lady in the past life and the other twin took over and the other one then she she got shoved back and the other one was telling me everything and i said what's with this other sister because she's like taking over everything and she's so loud and everything she said yeah that's my sister in this life and she said you got it oh, with the yeah. twins you were absolutely right with the twins and i go but then I, then i lose the spirit this the other person's gone she's at the back of the room because this other one came right in front and so some of them are just kind of, they just kind of stay, stay out and they're just, you know, mm -hmm. watching or listening or, you know, a lot of times when you see some of the psychics on TV and stuff, they will have 
someone that is more of a bigger personality step forward. Right. And they, they go, but I want grandma back there, but no, Uncle Joe's here, you mm -hmm. know, type of thing. Right. So, um, yeah, I, um, I, uh, I know Brian Bowl says, I've asked that question as well, because I wonder too, I'm like, why isn't that I'm not getting that person to come through? And sometimes the person's not ready to hear the message or they're not, and this may be years even down the road. Maybe you're still in a lot of grief and the people on the other side, like your mom may feel that it's probably not in her best interest at this time. If she's not, you know, doing something else, obviously, mm -hmm. or, you know, there's a number of, of reasons on it. So, um, Brian was saying that sometimes they bring in connecting spirits. So like maybe dad might bring her in or, you know, maybe a relative or something. Well, that's so how we do soul rescue. Kind of, yeah. When we do a soul rescue, we're like, uh, we're, we're, you know, we could talk about that at some point, especially when I have some of the people from the dead talk on is where um, we make sure that we're not, taking the person and having them go somewhere we're bringing in an ancestor or right. um, a, 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 an angel or somebody to come get them and so we're working with the other side to take them to the other side okay let me just i'm going to take some cards just a second You could have talked. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you go. You go silent. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. I just uh, trying to connect to see what it gets. Oh, there's the Taco Bell thing. You're making me angry. So tonight's show, we have a gift card for Taco Bell. Uh, so that's exciting. Stick around for that. Um, the other exciting news I, I forgot to mention in the beginning is um, the Kindle mobile or uh, ebook reader version of our book, The uh, Little Book of Big Evil, which I have right here, is going to be available soon. So uh, I'm getting that converted. It should be hopefully within the next few days. I know I've had people ask about it because that's what they prefer. And, uh, you know, I'm not uh, super specialized in formatting it. So I, I just went and found somebody to do that, to help with that. Because, um, you know, to me, it's pretty important if you're going to pay for something like that, that it appears, you know, professional. So, um, so that's the one thing I forgot to mention. Okay. Um, Pam, I want to talk to you for just a minute. So I connected to your mom's energy and I'm like, what's going on? And she shows me, I got the death card. So I know, okay, she, she passed away and there's this huge weight card. Wait, 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 wait. And I get that she is just absolutely loving it there she the world card comes up and it just says she's like fulfilling her desires and just doing everything she's it's just fabulous it, it really truly is heaven it's like a new beginning for her and what she always wanted she has to wish come true what she always wanted the last card is the uh, my um, lack of motivation card um, I don't want to come. I don't want to come back. I really am loving it there. So don't. We can't ever take these things to heart. Right. Like how can our mother not come back? To them, time doesn't exist. I'm reading that book by. Uh, her name is Anita. I'm dying, dying to be me, and she's. I'm just getting to the part where she's talking about. You know what? Anybody wants to borrow it from me. Um, when I'm done in about a week or so, I will mail it to you, okay? We'll just pa pass it around. But um, she was uh, on her deathbed in the hospital. I mean, she was 
crossing over. And she goes and she talks about how we're all connected. But then mm -hmm. she describes heaven. And when I read these near-death accounts, the people are saying, I did not want to come back to Earth. It's brighter right. colors and it's it's so great and it's so wonderful but they don't have a sense of time there and you know that they're right. going to see you in a minute you know <laughs> and so i'm just getting that right now we have a wait for her to contact and you know she's just not really um uh motivated to journey back so that's what i'm seeing here yeah. and so i feel like that's kind of what is going on but um they do love us and they do they do um you know examine their life over there they see what lessons they need to to do um and and that's the way it is um you know i had a horrible uh, childhood with my father and i left him behind when i was 18. i saw him uh before he just before he died and i because i had to he was dying and i got involved and i know you know we didn't have the relationship in this lifetime but i knew as soon as he crossed it was a different game okay mm. it's going to be whole, totally different so um they love us they love us unconditionally over there and like anita's book said we're all connected and i mm -hmm. can't wait to finish reading a little bit more of what she's talking about to the animals to the plants right. to the earth and the one thing that i told somebody today is she said when you pass you find out that we are 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 all miracles each one of us is a miracle and she said that changed her life especially when she came back and she decided that she would come back it wasn't her well they decided it wasn't her time she spontaneously healed within about three days this is cancer mm. uh organ shut down she had lemons all over which were big tumors of cancer she was 86 pounds feeding tube, not breathing because she was full of fluid and they could not understand how she got healed. And, mm -hmm. and it, so here we have the medical community trying to figure it out and everything. And Dwayne, um, Wayne Dwyer read, read a little bit about her and they got connected to Hay House and the book got made and he wrote the foreword. And I'm just like so amazed. I can't wait to get into it more to say, what what was it like? How were we connected? How did you feel? But a lot of times when people die and they come back, they don't have the words. There's no words right. to say what yeah. this was absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's almost like tele telepathy. It, it is my impression of it is like no, no time, no space. Um, thought is communication so mm -hmm. so yeah. um yeah you know i just kind of figure that uh it, when i cross over i may say hey, I'm not, no i'm not my mother said she's never coming back i have a <laughs> friend that says oh no you've got this many left lifetimes i'm going like no 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 i don't want to hear it <laughs> yeah, I, don't want to hear it. I know my mom was here right before we got on and uh, I could see her um, clairvoyantly and she was giving me a hug almost a little over mo motherly I would say honey you're gonna do good you know I heard that so uh, it's didn't... nice it's nice having her now you know on the other side so yeah I'm just like a I'm an odd duck I very miss Spock, I tell you. I They don't have to come back to me. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. It's fine. Um, but that's, you know, that's me. That's that's when I was, you know, talking um, talking in a group about, they were talking about angels and, and how, if you are you emotional around angels? And they go, oh, shoot, I've got to write that story about the angel. And, um, 
because I don't, I don't get emotional. I just don't sugarcoat, tell you this is the way it is. That's what's going to happen. And until I had the lady come into my house and sit down and I just, I was right in that room and something like feathers went like this and turned my head and like that. And I was like, okay, wow. all right. I'm doing the, doing the reading. I'm like, what's going on with me? What the heck? I don't get emotional and tears were coming down, but I wasn't crying, but tears were coming down my face. I was like, what the heck is going on? And I said, um, and then I started choking up and I said, oh, I got to stop. I got to stop this because I go, um, I don't get emotional and somebody's here with us. You've got somebody here. And I said, they just touched me on the face. And she just laughed and she giggled. And she said, uh, out in the car before I came in, I told Archangel Michael to touch you on the face and I know that you were real. You're a real psychic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I go, oh, dang. Is wow. that what it feels like? It was, wow. it was emotional. <laughs> and if something can make me, you know, cry or do anything, it's a big deal. Because I just don't. I'm not that way. So as far as my family, you're fine. You're good. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Vicky, oh, did Vicky, you saw Vicky? Oh, Vicky McDonald. And yeah. she spoke with your grandfather. She blows me away because she just, you guys, go to Vicky's um, website. I mean, she's doing readings all day, and they're all mediumship. And she'll surprise the heck out of you. Yeah, and I'm going to go pull it up right now. Okay. I was so on, I like, I, she does, she has like only three to five to seven people on there when she does it. So I go on when it says Vicky's live, I go on. And so um, she did have my brother come through, but the other day she goes, oh, your brother's there and he's saying I'm here. And I, but you know, uh, that was the end and she had to go. So I was like, well, that's really cool. Um, but uh, she's amazing and she will get, you know, details. So I hope that went really well. I bet it did, Carlos. That's awesome. We love getting um, the messages from the other side and seeing the people. And yeah. I'll I'll post it, her link to her Facebook group. Uh, I'll post it in the comments so it's, you know, okay. clickable. Okay. What's All there? Right. We're running out of time. Is there any other questions? Yeah. Um, I think we should. Here's one from Julie Dow. I would okay. love a general reading, Debbie. Okay. Let me write this so, down. And I'll I'll pull some cards. Actually, she asked she asked for you. I'll let you do that one. Okay. Um, maybe I'll just pull an <laughs> angel card for her. Okay. So Or you can uh, also talk after you pull a card, you might you might talk about the story contest if I'm not ready. Oh, yeah. So, everybody, we are offering this amazing um, opportunity to win $300 worth of value in readings, cards. Um, there's also an autographed Angelina Jolie uh, Maleficent uh, photo that's signed that Debbie found. Uh, she, she got that and thinking, oh, a $50 <clears throat> gift card, excuse me. And I'm going to post the link to that. It's the contest is, you know, a short story writing contest. And we want you to submit a scary story, an encounter with a ghost or an entity, something um, that's personal that happened to you. So, um, and I'll go ahead and post that. The link to that page. Um, it's well worth it. So each entry that you put in, um, that you or each story that you put in, you get one entry. So if you have multiple stories, um, you get more entries. So that's three hundred dollars, and it also includes one of these uh, tarot decks that I got in finally. And Larissa, if you're watching. Yours is going to be on the way here shortly. I promise um, I have yours available. But here's what they look like in the box. They're pretty cool. I like them. 
I think next time when I do order, I'm, I'm going to go with more of a matte finish or maybe a different kind of, because they slide, they literally fly across my table. So. Okay. Um, and I think, Debbie, you're ready, huh? I'm ready. Okay. Can you hear me? I hope yep. you can. Okay. Hi, Julie. Um, I'm going to look at three months for you. And I want to tell you the card that came down that represents you is the eight. Well, it's the strength card. So this, when I get this, it's a card that you're using your inner strength and being strong and facing your fears. So that's really important. And that is what I'm getting for you right now. Now, I do have some kind of a love issue uh, in temporary energy crossing you. This is the page of cups. So I feel like it's a little bit of a messenger of love, romance, and good news is kind of over you. Now, in the future, I do see you being very busy or taking on too much or a lot of responsibility, almost too much, okay? You can do it, but I feel like, oh, we have some extra responsibility and things happening in your life in the future. Past position is waiting for results. We're waiting for something to hear about something its results. Now, when we get to the first two weeks here, from now through two weeks, I feel like I feel a little bit left out of the money, though I do uh, have good news of money coming, but I feel like I should have got some more money or I should be making more money. Some kind of issue about feeling a little left out of the money. Um, in the next two weeks after that, I have the Emperor card. So here is my card of someone older wiser and getting some really good um, advice from them almost like my mentor card and getting a little advice and you should take it okay in month two the biggest thing here i see some worry happening and i feel like they're magnified fears so just bring it down okay nothing around here i feel like you should worry about because and it may be money but money comes okay in the next two weeks i have the night of pentacles which means like money is going to start coming in more and growing and more on a regular basis so you find that out at that point now in month three i have um in since you're here maybe you can tell me if you feel that this is you usually i get the person uh i'm work you know doing a reading for earlier but i do get this queen of swords so i've got a very libra like woman a very strong personality one with the justice seam and likes when things are right and doesn't like when they're wrong be hard to watch like the world news or anything like that because so you know or politics <laughs> it's so wrong and so this per this woman has a huge compassion at heart She's so smart and pretty, and she is um, just champions causes. But she is the strongest woman in the tarot deck, so this, she's one of my favorites. She is my favorite. So um, I don't know if this is you. If it's you, I love you. <laughs> That's great. If it isn't, this woman comes in as an ally for you, okay, and importance during this time period. Now, the end of three months, I have the sun card, which is really, uh, I love this card. Uh, this is my happy card and my successful card. Sometimes it's connected to past memories. Sometimes it's a child type of card. But for you, I'm getting like a possible uh, career offer type of thing. A, a an offer comes at that point. So I feel like really good. I'm really good and happy. Oh, let me show that card. This is my happy card. I love it, love it, love it. So I feel like that is coming in at that point. So these are the biggest things that I see. Um, now, you should manif manifest if you're not. You should manifest for money to come and be as much as you want and come in when you want it to. And I feel like that's connected to this worry. But the worry is bigger than what it should be. So I tell people when I get this card, I go, your worry, this is as big as your worry is. And then you made it that big. Mm -hmm. So bring it back down because it doesn't need to be that big because it's really this big. It's not that there's no worry, but it's only that big. And we can manifest all this stuff away. And uh, Julie, if you want to know about manifesting, private message me, and I will send you a PDF of our book on the many ways of manifesting. It changed my life. It changes people's life. It's just, it, it's crazy. When, when you guys have these crazy coincidences and these signs that you see and all this 
wonderful, crazy stuff that happens in life. When you start manifesting, they come. You want, mm -hmm. really want something, and all of a sudden, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. I got what I wanted. And it will change your life. Okay? You're welcome, Julie. Yeah. Okay. And uh, for her, I got the remain positive card from the archangels. So sure. um, that's okay, exactly man. what you need to do or I suggest doing is re remain positive. Um, that card just simply, it's an Oracle card. So it just simply says, just know that if you are manifesting, you feel like your stuff isn't coming fast enough, like it's not happening, just give it time and then just remain positive thoughts or energy. So you'll want to keep it positive to bring that in. Well, so. the, the funny thing is, is that, um, I just got something that came in my head over and over and over again. And this is how I used to always get my messages. They would tell me that when I had that uh, UK um, psychic over at my house and we were doing a seance, and I I would hear sausage, 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 but not audibly, but I'd hear sausage. sausage. I wrote it down, and then I'm like, does, it, does that mean anything? And she goes, yeah, that's... Well, because I just said your grandmother's here, this is what she looks like, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, that was the nickname for my brother. And But around the house lately, I've been hearing, hearing with my ears, some talking and some words. Interesting. But just mm. now I go, chin up, chin up, chin up, yeah. chin up. And that was for Julie. <laughs> Somebody saying chin up. And I go, <laughs> okay, I'll tell her. I wrote it down, chin up. And you know, Julie, one more, Julie, one more thing for Julie. <laughs> I gotta mention this to you, Julie. You are a very gifted and amazing psychic. I feel like you're. Um, if you're not doing that work yet, you're learning and you're absorbing those. Um, I feel like you're gonna meet with the right people and situations to get you more on a spiritual path for a for like a business i feel so strong about that um even though you may have a maybe a nine to five job or a, a regular job you know mediumship and psychic work isn't a regular job but um i do see you headed towards um that direction so i don't have a time frame i'm just that's what i'm getting so wow that's great um, Andy, can you get a, a random generator? Yeah. Number generator? Oh, yes. We need to do Sorry. this. You guys, I need you to write in the comments a number from 1 to 100, including 1 in 100. And we have a random and, um, number generator that will pick a number for us. The closest one to that number wins tacos. Yes. Okay. And you know, the winner, the huh. winner needs to uh, private message me their address, and I'll put it in the mail tomorrow. Andy, what's going on? You got it. Well, you know how we have our. Yeah, I was I okay. was looking for our graphic, the one to one hundred, and. <laughs> oh, you don't know where it's at. Well, guess what? It's not in the folder where it was before. I swear some something's messing. Yeah. Here. That's so weird. But anyways. Okay. I got a I got a name too. A name came in. Said Did like, you? Yes, it was weird. And I don't know if he's just a random person that's connecting to our equipment. But I got Ernest and I said, but and then he's like Ernie. And I was like, oh, that's Ernie. so random. Ernest or Ernie. Okay, Ernie, I'm writing you down. We're watching <laughs> you. Okay, do you want me just um, to write a number down? You know, yeah. I got a number. Okay. Okay. Can I see comments? No. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna scroll up. I'm gonna post this on here. You know, that got me to thinking about this Ernie you just said. And I don't know if the guy is still alive, but when I was a kid, he was the biggest prankster, old guy that I just fell in love with. Um, he was like a handyman uh, in in my little town where I grew up. What was his name? Ernie. 
Are you kidding me? And that's what I feel like he would be doing something like that. <laughs> he was a very happy kind of jokester kind of a guy. Yeah. And I, I, go, I, I thought it was kind of funny. And he's like, I'm Ernest. And he's like, I'm Ernie. And I started <laughs> like, oh, we got Ernie? Okay. Hi, Ernie. Okay. I do have okay. a number uh, written down. Did anybody oh. write one? Otherwise, yep. I get the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos has seven. Uh, let's look here. Bree's got seven. And I'm scrolling here. Um, Wendy's got 27. Julie, did you put a number? Uh, Pam's got 82. Okay. And, oh, Julie said, yay, thanks. I will chin up and will keep following my spiritual path. Perfect. Julie, put a number from 1 to 100. Okay. Um, looks like God's will has 14. Um. Yeah, Julie, if you're still around, I think you are. It's Hum the Jeopardy music. Okay, here she is. Um, it must be a little slow. Julie has 11. All right. I the think, highest, that, I think yeah. that's it. The highest number was, I believe, Pam, correct? Yep, with 82. 99. Oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, you yeah. Congratulations. Private message me your address, and I will uh, mail it tomorrow. Yay. Yay. Congrats, yeah. Pam. Oh, my goodness. Well, <coughs> come here, Chappie. I'll, I'll pick him up if he comes over. Come here, Chappie. <laughs> Somebody must be here. Chappie, come here. <gasps> Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> Go to the park. <laughs> he could come. I would put him up here if he would come over. Oh, well. Uh, did you? Come here. Come oh, here. wow. Come here. Come here. So. Hey. <laughs> come here. No. He's, we have to shut the whole no. wall of glass. Oh. Yeah, because he... I don't know. He like butterfly. That's him. People walking by. Come here, baby. Come here. You want to see Andy? Come here. Oh my goodness. How much do you weigh now? Come here. Come here. No. Oh, he's late. Ah. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, there we go. He um he's heavy. And he rolled over. He's just like, duh, he's so passive. There we go. No, look right there. There's the guys. There's everybody. <laughs> there he is. He's a really sweet dog. Yeah, aren't you? You ready to go? Okay, I'm going to let you down. Yeah. Don't bark. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cornflake, as my sister would say. All right. Well, it's 743, and we did a few readings. Yeah. Um, I really like do lots. I can't wait to have Shannon's on and we'll do lots of readings. When we get Lena on, we'll do lots of readings. So oh, yeah. we'll see. It's a mystery what's happening on Wednesday. <laughs> so. Oh, Julius is not happy. Pam That's said what... that he loves Taco Bell too, by the way. Oh, good. Loves it. So this and is perfect. Julie's, Julie said hi, puppy. And that, and mm -hmm. that is exactly what Chappie's mom says to him all the time hi puppy oh. all the time when you when you See? left that i was like <laughs> she literally says that constantly to champ all the time good and it just, job when i saw that i was like oh that's very psychic yeah all right yeah we're gonna go to the lobby yep all right you guys thank you for watching don't forget to don't forget to submit your stories for the writing Please. contest. Please do that. We want to get this is part of a trilogy. So we're going to have 
book two and book three of Little Book of Big Evil. And so far, I know, Debbie, you've got a few stories in already. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a great, a great prize. And um, oh, did you tell them that some of the stories are going to be published in the book? So oh, you guys yeah. will have you, you will have if you want to be anonymous, that's fine. Otherwise, your name will be in there as a thank you and um, under your story. And so if you have a really neat spiritual uh, uh, story or whatever, and do you remember the it's called the son of Sam? Do you remember? Yes. Was that, was that? Okay. We have a story from somebody who is connected to that and no their, way. Angel, their angels saved them. Yes. That's going to be. Wow. In yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Evil. Yeah. She was saved right. from evil. Saved you from know, death. that's, that's interesting. Cause, um, you know, serial killers. I've, I know it's creepy and it's macabre and all that, but I've always had a fascination for the forensics uh -oh. and, and all that. So, um, <laughs> that's that's it's it's pretty cool. I mean, just not the bad stuff that happens surrounding yeah. it, but just um, the psychology. Yeah, that that's yeah. the word. So, okay, everybody loves yeah. the CSI and all of oh. that stuff. Yeah, I think that's why they are um, um, interested when I do, you know, I do homicides um, and suspects and missing people. I do a lot of murders. It's not for everybody. It is very gruesome what I see. Yeah. I'm Miss Spock, remember? I, I, I go, okay, and this is how, this is what happened with the knife, and this is what happened, and this is what he did. And, you know, I'm just, I think it's a blessing that I can get those, you know, details and everything. That is. I, ha I have to be careful. I only work with families, right? So right. I have to be careful the information I give. You have to, you know, temper that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you, I do. You said it. You said it best when you know when you're working on missing persons cases. That and I never thought of it this way until you mentioned it. <clears throat> oftentimes people will request this information from you, right, Debbie? Like mm -hmm. on your, and and yeah. they're not even connected to the person. Mm -hmm. They're not connected to anything. They've just yeah. happened upon it or seen it. And they're just, mm -hmm. you know, out of their good nature. They are, they're yeah, like- they have a Let's... passion to find that person that they <laughs> right. saw the poster on Facebook. And mm -hmm. yet they're ineffective and they're giving them all the information does nothing. It right. won't help. So especially I only if they're with... like if they're still alive, and and you know if you're giving that information to somebody that's clear across the world or the country, there's nothing they can do with that information. Like you had said, um, because they can't drive there to that location, you know. So. Well, also if they go to the police, the police are going to look at them as a suspect, and also when they hear they got it from mm -hmm. a psychic, they're going to say that's a crackpot there it's not an effective way to work so i work with search and rescue which i've done incredible cases with and the family and the search and rescue one that i did i taught the the searchers a few of them how to use my method in finding missing people and they came to the same conclusions mm -hmm. but they actually got into their vehicles and went to the addresses and then you know saw what was going on and so they could go and when i did the very first missing person the information went to the wife that went to the searchers mm -hmm. and so and he was you know they did find him at where i told them where he was right fortunately he wasn't alive at that point but um so anyway um yeah i i just you know it's a waste of a lot of energy and time i get so many requests so many requests for to ha for help and i'm finishing my last one until i form a group in the fall and that will be with people that um, the CSI Lenormand group on Facebook, 
a couple of them I'm going to invite to be in it. And of course you, Andy, and people that can go together and really get the details and really give it to the right people so that, you know, they can um, help. Um, right. So, but yeah, there's, if you just, any of you watch Facebook, you're going to see one after another, what, every day, every other right. day, yeah. there's somebody missing. There's a child, there's an adult, there's a, just a grandfather went missing and they just, they, he just went missing and they just found, he was 83, found his body here in Southern California. And um, he, I'm sure that he had dementia or Alzheimer's and he walked off. I think that's what will happen. But um, they're just, it's constantly, and it's so sad that this is what's occurring. Um, but we have to pick and choose what we do. What, where can we do um, be helpful? Where can we really right. be helpful? For me, it's working search and rescue, somebody that will go out and search where I tell them. And mm -hmm. um, the family, especially if they need to get closure or they, they are so close that they can understand. When I tell them I'm getting this person, I had this young man that killed himself. And so I was given the case and I'm saying, do you understand when I tell you there's a there's a somebody owes somebody money in the family and this man young man killed himself? He's OK. He's going to be found in a couple of days. But I said he is connected to a woman and he is connected to this family fight, this fight about not getting paid money. I said the whole nine yards. What happened? What happened? The young man killed himself because the parents owed him money and wouldn't pay him. And he was depressed because of his girlfriend. Oh, so, wow. you know, yeah. So the people that got it, the people in the family that got it totally understood what was going on. And they told me, right. yes, you're right. And I, he was just pushed a little bit, pushed to do it. And, um, and the depression and all of that in the mix. But I did say one person who, whose good friend came and said, would you please look at, him and i did yeah. and i said he's going to he's going to try to kill himself and this is going to be immediate so you need to watch him and that next that night the next you know early morning he was missing and they called out helicopters and everything and they found him overdosed um somewhere oh, wow. and got him got him to the hospital and um pumped his stomach and they and he was they brought him back and that man came to me and said, I didn't give permission for you to do a reading on me. And I said, thank you. Thank you for saving your life. So it's uh, one of those things. I now he would thank me for saving his life. But right, right after right. the words, he, and I said, I can do a reading on anybody. If I can do it on a serial killer or a murderer or something, certainly right. can do it on anyone else without their permission. Uh, so any of you spiritual people out there that think that you have to ask permission to do a reading, uh, no, you don't. Correct. You can do the reading. But you use I, ethical no. means and moral means of who you look at, okay? And you just do that. All right, I think it's time to go to the lobby yeah. and go to Taco Bell. Pam, I'm going to Taco Bell. I'll get mm. your card, okay? And I'll send it. Oh. Awesome. Congratulations, okay. Pam. Thank you, everybody that joined. Uh, thank you, everybody that will be watching this later on. So yeah. do join us Bye. next Wednesday. Good night. Thank you. Thanks for watching.